Why is this concept sort of fleeting for them in terms of the understanding piece? So as far as like the non-exercise, yeah, yeah that, that side of things. So let me see if I can try to un, unwind this. So based on a scenario that I typically find or that I typically encounter. So let's say this is, it could be female or male. It doesn't really matter, but let's just say it's that female that has that BMR of 1300 calories mm-hmm. and she's coming in and she would like to lose weight. She as we do some tracking, we get an, a kind of a baseline understanding of her caloric intake and let's say it's 1200 calories a day. So that is that arbitrary number that oh, always, that oh, below oh. the floor. So yeah, so we are, yeah, we're in the, we're currently in the basement. Um, her weight is stagnant though. Yeah. She Why? can't seem to lose weight no matter what she tries. Yeah, right? she, she's continuing to exercise and exercise more and, and, stagnant. What, why is nothing changing? I'm, I'm eating less. I'm moving more. Why is this not working? So that, that question is usually the first question that we have to answer. So if calories in calories out worked perfectly, this person that is eating below their basal metabolic rate, if they were to keep that up for enough period of time, they would starve to death. Mm -hmm. Obviously if we look around our society, not many people look like they're starving to death. Mm -hmm. Um, quite the opposite. You can have someone who's eating under their BMR and yet they're still significantly overweight. Wow. Well, how does that work? How is that happening? <laughs> right. So exactly. Um, especially if this person is exercising. So you can kind of think of it as a, your body trying to spe- uh, stretch a paycheck that is never going to be enough to cover all of the bills. So what, you know, if you've been in that situation in your life before and you know that, okay, this is what I'm getting paid and this is what I got to pay out in this the math ain't mathin. Indeed, I've been there. <laughs> <laughs> so what are we gonna what are we gonna cover first? Well, I, I gotta keep a roof. I gotta I gotta pay the rent, the mortgage, whatever. I gotta eat. So okay, I got rent and I got food covered. You can think about that as like your that's like your basal metabolic rate. And then you have all these other things, all these other areas of your budget where you're like, ah, I gotta, I gotta down regulate what I'm spending. I I gotta pinch pennies, basically. And where your body is pinching pennies is in your non-exercise activity. Following so far? Yeah, there is another way, and that is to take out a line of credit and run yourself even <laughs> deeper into the hole, which yes. that analogy that, could you could draw a direct correlation to, but we'll come back in a sec. Yeah, that that is, I think, is what happens to people yep. eventually. Mm-hmm. So, you know, you're you're eating below your basal metabolic rate. I'm still exercising, so you're almost kind of forcing your body to exp- uh, expend calories or spend calories. And the, your body's like, we're, we're running out of money here. We're, 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 we're getting down to our last pennies here. So we got to cut something. And where what gets cut is your non-exercise activity. So whereas in your, your exercise activity, you're somewhat forcing a certain caloric burn, mm-hmm. your non-exercise activity is more of an unconscious caloric burn. And not your non-exercise activity where your body pinches pennies is in your movement outside of formal exercise. So this is in ways that you are most likely not going to notice. Kind of unconscious that, of. Yeah, right? that right now I'm moving my hands all over the place. If I was in a down-regulated state metabolically, my hands would be resting. I would be moving my body around less. If you sit at a desk all day, maybe you get up and down from the desk less frequently. You're less fidgety. You're not walking around the house as much. All of that activity gets down-regulated and you become more sedentary outside of formal exercise in ways that you are not noticing. Yeah, that- uh, yeah, that makes really good sense. I think like if you called somebody's attention to it, like you just did there, like mm-hmm. if I was super undernourished or underfed, however you, you want to look at it. You'd be sitting very under, still. If I'm underfed, then I'm undernourished. Mm-hmm. And if I'm undernourished, then I'm probably just kind of, I'm feeling shitty. Yeah, I'm feeling pretty, st- I don't want to do much. I mean- yeah. We've all felt that. We've all been there, right? Where we're, where our bodies are just like, just you're you're wrecked, right? Mm-hmm. Versus the person that always seems to be on crack, you know, mm-hmm. or whatever on the other side. Or or when you do have good energy, for whatever for whatever the reasons are, you've got upregulation of something, and whether that's mm-hmm. your metabolism or whether that's your adrenal glands or something like that, because you just mm-hmm. you know powered down two bangs in a row or something like that. <laughs> yeah. Like we're you know what that tired, looks and yeah. feels like. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I think that's. But if you call somebody's attention to it, like when you're really hungry or you're really tired, like, are you more apt to move or not move? I think the answer is obvious. Yeah. 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 So that, you know, when, when I get into that conversation with someone, maybe they begin to understand a little bit. And then you talked about the, the line of credit that, that is when we are 
in this state where our income is not high enough, our caloric income is not high enough and we're trying to make ends meet. So what do we do? We take out a credit card. And that is when someone is in this, you know, th this eating below their BMR or consistently under eating for a long period of time, we're basically building up credit card debt. Yeah. And then we're, it's going to take even longer to get out of that debt for us to break even again. And let's, we can talk about kind of. Yeah. Let's talk about that. what happens. Yeah. Let's talk about what happens there. I, I think that's important. <laughs> yeah. We were just talking about finance the other day and mm -hmm. building muscle. Yeah. Kind of relating muscle building to how you build finance. Very similar in terms of mm -hmm. principles. Yeah. 